a dream barn? MD Barnmaster has spent the last 30 years perfecting their barns by making them kick-proof and chew-proof with a 0% fire spread rating. They are safe, attractive, functional, and easy to maintain. Best yet, MD Barnmaster barns are completely customizable, allowing you to make your dream barn a reality. Making dreams come true. Good evening. Welcome to RFD TV Live. I'm Mark Offold. Our guest, MD Barnmaster, as you see. No matter if you have a large farming or ranch operation or just a small acreage, uh, you have valuable animals that need protection. No one knows that better than the people with us tonight. MD Barnmaster. Joining me in studio, Bruce Thomas is CEO of MD Barnmaster. Good to see you again. Thanks, Mark. It's great Hard to, be to believe here. it's been a year since you were here the last Last time. Yeah, it's, it feels like longer than that. Yeah. We've got a lot of things happening. So yeah, it's been a great year for MD Barnmaster. It has, yeah, a lot of new developments and some great, great barns we've built and met some great people, and it's it's been a great year. And continue to expand, which we'll talk about that, and uh, we're going to kind of tease folks. We have a special promotion for viewers that we are do. watching right now. Yep. That we'll talk about a little bit later. Good to have you back. It's nice to be here. And thanks. you know, when you talk about uh, providing your horse with a safe and a comforting environment, and one uh, no one appreciates that more, I'm sure, than our guests joining us as well. Linda and Pat Pirelli. Pirellis have taken their horses worldwide. They're familiar names to RFD TV viewers. They enjoy the Pirelli Natural Horsemanship every Wednesday at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central on RFD TV. When it came time to select a barn for their horses, Linda and Pat chose MD Barnmaster. I think that says a lot. Welcome to the two of you. Thank you. It's great Thank to you. be here. Wow. What a great afternoon and evening to get to see you again. It's always great to have you at RFD TV and visit. We have a lot of viewers that uh, knew that you were going to be on and we'll be opening our telephones uh, to your viewers a bit later to uh, talk to uh, Bruce and to Pat and Linda. You've been, your travels never seem to end, uh, Linda. I mean, even worldwide, literally. Yes, we get around, <laughs> we get around a lot. We just got back from Germany last month. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been, you know, on a tour. We were in Des Moines, Iowa. We were in K uh, Kentucky last week and uh, Lexington and uh, we're heading to Denver. Uh, and, and no, we're going Canada. to Canada, and then Canada in Denver in a couple, at the end of the month. So yeah, we've uh, we've been kind of hitting the trail, going to still go to, go to Australia in the fall. So we're we're banging it on. Wow, yeah, here. and you just like NB Barnmaster, your your year is full, and it's been a good one for you. And 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 we're so glad you're here. And with that busy schedule you just mentioned, still uh, we are we thank you for for spending this hour with us, and and because it's important to you to protect your horses, and uh, you could have chosen. Uh, any number of buildings and barns, uh, you chose MD Barnmaster. I mean, just real quick, we're going to talk a lot about that in you know, an hour. I, but I think the one thing that uh, it doesn't take very long to be around me and, and people find out I'm a shareaholic. And I'm one of those kind of people, if I go to a great restaurant or a great movie or something like that, I want to share it. And that's, that's, that's why I'm here with MD Barn, because it, to me it's really important that people get to know what a good uh, company it is, what a good product it is. And if you really care about your horse, this is the kind of... Uh, barn you're going to want to build. Right. And more than one, uh, you have one in Colorado we're going to see later. We have one in Florida, uh, Linda, That's that right. you're, you're proud of as well. So yep. it's not just a one-time thing. And again, uh, it what didn't happen right away. Just you looked and looked and looked and uh, came across uh, this one. And you know, the, the biggest thing for me was when I was little, you know, like 10 years old, I remember the first time I walked into a real horse barn. That smell, that feeling, that look, that, you know, it just, it just, and I'm like, wow, this is a horse barn. And believe it or not, 50 years later, I finally got my first barn. <laughs> yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. I've leased places and I've, I've uh, you know, boarded at places and done all kinds of things where there were nice barns. But this is my property, my barn, and I got to design it, and I designed it to, so that it would feel and smell just like that first barn I walked into. How about that? Dreams and, come true, don't yeah. they? Huh? <laughs> that, it really is for me. 50 years later, it, it's, it's that? really a dream come true for Bruce, me. Bruce, that's you, you don't ever get tired of hearing that. You've talked no. about that when you were here with us last time on our program, that you really want to help dreams come true when it comes to building the barn that, that they the people have dreamt about or that they need and to protect these valuable horses in this case. Yeah, it's, you know, this uh, relationship we have, we, we love selling them barns, but we've also learned a lot from them in our partnership um, about uh, about barns, you know, helping them design their barns and build them. Uh, you always learn something new and working with people who know as much about horses as these guys do, it, it helps us a lot. We try to design our barns for serious horse people 
and they don't come any more serious than that. I would so. say exactly, and we're certainly glad to have you here. And, and again, viewers, we'll be opening our telephone lines for you to visit with Linda, Pat, and Bruce from MD Barnmaster a bit later in our program. So we want you to take uh, careful notes and uh, comments. Maybe you're an owner of an MD Barn, uh, a Barn Master, and uh, we'd love to hear from you as well. Let's start, uh, Linda and Pat. Uh, Linda, with you, ladies, before gentlemen here. Uh, <laughs> some of the uh, some of the important issues that all horse owners. Uh, deal with when they're looking at, at, at a barn and a place to house these valuable animals? What was important to me? Yeah. Well, we keep our horses outside a lot, and so I never really thought I would want a barn. But when I got more horses, it became important to have a facility where I could gather my horses in the morning and I could put them into stalls and feed them and then uh, get them ready. My, my, um, my barn manager gets them ready for me now. And uh, it needed to be a lot more practical. And I have some horses that in their past really hated being in stalls. And so for me, the health and happiness of my horses was, was really important. I wanted to have a barn that my horses loved, that they didn't just think was, you know, well, now I've got to be in here and do time. Like often I think it's like solitary confinement. And I don't want that. I want a place where my horses want to be in there and I feel like they're happy. And that was one of the primary ingredients of designing my barn. Yeah. How about you, uh, Pat? Uh, things that are issues that are important to, to you and all horse owners when you look at, at a barn. Well, first of all, I think you have to know what it is, what your objective is. And for me, having a barn that, first of all, is safe. In other words, a barn that's built by horse people will not have things that are, where horses are going to get halters hooked on or get their legs hooked or cut, stuff like that. And be surprised how many barns have been built by a non-horse person and little things that they don't think about, you know, that l looks neat or something like that, real attractive, but a horse can get hurt on. But for me, you know, in Colorado, I built my barn in Colorado. Linda's barn is in our place in Florida, but mine's in Colorado, and I've got to be able to, to button it up. I've got to have it to where it's, it's I've got a hayloft inside. I've got to be able to have it to where I can, uh, the snow can shed off of it and uh, open it up at other times. So, so that was the part for me. I wanted something that was very practical and, I think, you know, the kind of horses, I, I'm, I'm always dealing with, with horses that maybe have never been touched yet, all the way up to uh, some very expensive uh, reining cow horses and cutting horses and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So I built my barn so that it was very practical, very safe, and I could put a lot of different kind of horses in there. And you talk a lot about safety uh, and that, it, well, the horses in the stall, uh, you talked about a lot earlier today about kick danger. I think you called it something, kick danger, that was important to you. Well, you know, first of all, it's amazing. It never, never ceases to amaze me that when a horse decides he's going to kick, you know, like maybe it's a, a, a display of, uh, of dominance up and he'll kick out like that. And it's like with no regard, they'll, they'll kick out there and hit something, a wall or a pipe or something like that. So two things can happen. Number one, the horse can get it to where he actually kicks through the wall. And now he's got himself to where he's, he's got uh, some real uh, he can get his leg caught or cut himself, mm -hmm. or if he kicks something solid like a, like a cement wall or a solid metal wall, he can, he can injure himself, and I've seen horses injure themselves for the rest of their lives. So to me, the way that this is constructed, there's enough flex on that, but the way they've, they've got a kick proof, uh, I've seen things where you've taken demonstrations with sledgehammers, yeah. and oh, there, there, you go. there you go, and this is the kind of thing that, that to me, a good, you know, and you can see that's built in a manufacturing place, and so these people, uh, this this company has really put a lot of thought and um, effort into getting their uh, product to where it's really, really exactly what we all need mm -hmm. as horse owners. Let's talk a little bit about each one of those, maybe, and, and fire. We, you know, we talked earlier today about, uh, unfortunately, some oh. of the, you see pictures of uh, barns that have burned to the ground. Um, uh, and Bruce, before we leave the, uh, the uh, well, there's a picture there. And, and unfortunately, when... When a barn burns, horse, and when you turn them loose, oftentimes, because they're thinking safety, they'll run right back in and they will demise. Yeah. They'll be their demise. So this is, you know, mm. fire safety has got to be everybody's concern. So here's some, uh, uh, unfortunately, some examples that we yeah. have uh, of fires. And, and Bruce, I know that's an important part of MD Barn Master in designing barns. Mm -hmm. For, for people it, like the Pirellis and anyone who has a horse, uh, that, that a lot of thought has gone into Right, that. it always has been. I mean. Um, the, our barns are zero fire spread, so a fire can start inside the barn and it'll burn out where it starts. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as the kick through, the way they're designed with the walls, the way they're fastened, they'll flex, but they won't give. Uh, so a lot of, well, this company's been around for 30 years, so a lot of thought over 30 years has gone into this. And uh, 
and we really are proud of the product. We do believe that it's the safest barn out there, and it's the first serious horse people. Uh, you can see here, yeah. This, the, is a, what, this is another test that you yeah, do? Yeah, that's a blowtorch. So there's not too many barn fires that, that are like that. And uh, <laughs> that wall won't burn. Linda and, and, and Pat, uh, you, you have to rank that, I would think, pretty high. In, in, in when we talk about these individually, uh, that was important, That another reason that you chose MD Barn Master. Absolutely. We know people that have had horrible situations like that where their barn has burnt down and... So knowing that this has zero fire spread was really a big factor. I mean, nobody ever wants a, a fire, but you never know what could go wrong. And I think that's a very comforting part of having an MD Barn Master. I want to talk a little bit. Go ahead. You had something else? Well, uh, you know, for me, also a barn, the, the, there's got to be, when you've got a dream and you want a dream to come true, you don't want to wait a year or two for it to happen. So that's, that, mm -hmm. for me, that was another thing. Because I remember we were up against some deadlines because it was going to snow. Yeah, and it was like, and, and, the it, and, and they said, draw it out. And it wasn't but a couple of weeks, and we had the order was shipped. Yeah. So I that think was. I remembering it a little bit better than it was, but it was a few, <laughs> a few weeks, I'll say that. Yeah. No, we, we, we build them. Uh, the, a lot of the components are in inventory, so we can fill orders very quickly. We're subject to some design and time and some permitting in some cases, mm -hmm. but no, we, we can get them out really fast. And when they arrive, they go up in a matter of of days for a simple barn. Yours took a few, a couple weeks or a few weeks, but yeah, no, that's the, one of the beauties of the We building. want to talk a little bit more about installation, but, but yeah. I want to get back to uh, to uh, Linda. You talked of the very first thing on your list, and what it maybe expand a little bit on is, is just, I want my horses to be healthy and I want them to be happy. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk a little bit more about that and how MD Barnmaster answers that desire that you have. You know, in our travels, when we take our horses all over the, all over the country, they're often in barns, you know, at horse fairs or various things as we're stopping overnight. And a lot of them are stalls where horses can't see out. They start to rear over the top so they can have a look, look. and see if their buddy is there who they've uh -huh. bonded with. Um, they're behind the bars and, then, and some of them get really frantic about it. And so I thought, well, when I, when I get to build my dream barn, then I'm going to have a design that just feels really open and friendly. And actually, you can see a photograph of it there. And it's just got this inviting feel. It's like the inside comes out and the outside comes in. And that was really important to me. And all my stalls have windows that look out the back. Some of them have um, also doors that go out the back. And then I wanted the front to be a really warm feeling. So when I look at my horses, it's just a beautiful picture. So um, the aesthetics also was really important for me. And see that bay horse there, the one on the left? Mm -hmm. He jumps anything. He'll jump six foot fences, just trot up to them and jump them. And he has never jumped out of that barn. Never, he's jumped every other fence on the place. There he is, not even thinking about jumping. <laughs> Says they're happy, doesn't it? Yeah. They are, and um, quite often because I'm always turning my horses loose, you know, after they've, um, I've played with them and ridden them, whatever, I'll just wash them off and then I'll turn them loose. And they don't leave the barn. <laughs> they can go out and do, go wherever they want and they don't leave. And you said something else today that was, I, I really struck me uh, that you said, Mark, these are my horses. These are, I'm not training for yeah. someone else. Mm -hmm. I'm not boarding for someone else. These are, these are my, these are my horses. I mean, I, yeah, you travel with them around the world, literally, but, but they're just like anyone watching. You said, I, I'm like any one of your viewers. These yeah. are, these are my horses. That's I want to take good care of them. That's absolutely it. I, I'm not training horses for other people. These are my horses. When I met Pat back in 1989, these horses were my recreation. And that has never really changed for me. And even when I present at our shows and I play with my horses at the shows, I'm doing that like it's like my horse. It's not a show horse. It's my horse. And I'm demonstrating what I can do with it and, and mm -hmm. how I love to play with my horses. Yeah. So I think a lot of people don't think of, think of that. They think maybe I'm a professional and so everything I do is different. But a lot of our students really identify with me because I'm doing what they do. I have to do it at a higher level and very publicly, Let me, but mean, it's the same yeah. thing. Yeah, uh, I'm curious just because of what you just said. When you get home from traveling wherever it might be, from Colorado or to Germany, when you get back home, you love to unpack and yep. be home. Do your horses get that feeling? Do you think when they get back in that barn that, that we just saw, are they glad to be home? Can I would think so. tell the difference in their disposition? I would think so because I think horses really know when they're home. But any time that they feel comfortable in a place, you can see it. 
they just drop their head, lick their lips. They, you can see it in their eyes. And actually, my farrier, he calls my barn the magic barn because he says even when he brings other horses into my barn to shoe them, he said they relax. <laughs> so it's the magic barn. Yeah. There you go. There's another tag for yeah, this. You know, work MD Barmaster, the magic <laughs> barn. <laughs> yeah. Right here on RFD TV. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take a break here and uh, talk a little bit more about things like, you know, the uh, uh, the warranty if we need to, you know, that if, the, you know, if some people, when they buy a car, want to look at the inside, some want sure. to look at the outside and the motor. But so, we, you know, you're very proud of that. 30 years of experience. But we also have a, uh, a special for our That's RFD right. TV viewers that we're going to be talking about right after our break. So okay. make sure, uh, viewers, you hang on. Uh, MD Barnmaster has a very special promotion just because you're watching tonight and only for the next 24 hours. So with that tease, we're going to take our first break, come back and talk more with MD Barnmaster, Pat and Linda Pirelli. RFD TV Live continues on Rural America's most important network. How do you build a better barn? MD Barnmaster has spent more than 30 years perfecting the answer. A better barn is chew-proof and kick-proof. With a 0% fire spread rating, it is safe, attractive, functional, and easy to maintain. From design to installation in as little as eight weeks, discover what thousands all over the world already know. MD Barnmaster will truly build you a better barn. MD Barnmaster, let us build your dream barn. When I thought about my dream barn, I wanted something that felt really inclusive and you didn't feel like you were shut in. So I, I thought about those barns that I've seen in Europe that I just love. They're like a, a courtyard. And in the middle, there's usually either a fountain or um, sometimes there's like a walking track. And I thought it'd be fantastic to have a, a round corral in there. So it was really exciting to come up with all of that together. And no matter what I said, they said, well, we can do that. Tell us what you want. We can do it. And, and I thought, oh, I thought I had to go with what you already have. So we can do anything. Welcome back to RFD TV Live. Our guest, Bruce Thomas from MD Barnmaster. And you just saw Linda Pirelli, Pat Pirelli here as well. Uh, from the Pirelli's Natural Horsemanship Wednesdays on RFD TV. We're going to open up our telephone lines right now for you to join us on RFD TV Live. There is the toll free number 877-731-6733. Again, lines open now. 877-731-6733. Maybe we can help your dream come true. We teased before the break, uh, Bruce, that we had a special promotion for viewers that are watching tonight, and indeed we do, for the next 24 hours. Uh, you brought something very special with you from our MD yeah, we Barnmaster. Think we think it's really neat. So if, if call within the next 24 hours, we're going to uh, provide free powder coating on all the stall fronts and tack room doors, which is a That's beautiful bronze color, yep, mm -hmm. it's, and it is beautiful. Tongue and groove spruce in the on all the fronts, which is what you have in your barn, Pat. Mm -hmm. And we're going to outfit the barns with all the accessories, feeder, water, saddle rack, um, bridle racks, cross ties, everything that you typically use in your barn. That'll all be provided free of charge for anybody who calls within 24 hours and orders by the end of June. So you have 30 days, viewers, and there is the special offer, the number on the screen, an 800 number. Again, we've given you our toll-free number to join us here on RFD TV Live, but uh, write that 800 number down. Only you viewers watching now on the program have that toll-free number and know about the 24 hours for that special offer. And again, uh, they order by the end of June, end of June all right. those things that you talked about will be theirs. That's right. And a lot of it's you know, Pat and Linda on a barn yep. that yep. you have. You've That's chosen right. those things. Uh, Linda, we saw uh, some of the shots of your barn as we came back from the break right there. And I want to talk a little bit about why you chose that style, kind of walk through the process mm -hmm. that you walk through with MD Barnmaster. Um, my story is a little bit like Pat's in that um, this is the first barn that I've ever been able to design and build. But I've dreamt about it for a long time. And being lucky enough to travel in Europe, I saw a lot of barns in um, France, especially, that had that courtyard design, like the, a U-shape. And I thought, that's what I would really love. I would love to have a U-shaped courtyard barn in wherever I'm going to build it. Mm -hmm. And so when I got together with MD, um, I was thinking, well, maybe I have to do a normal shed row or an aisle barn or something like that. They said, no, you can do whatever you like. So it's really, and actually in that commercial where you see me drawing on the board, that was our actual meeting when they said, well, show us what you show want. Show us what you want. Yeah. 
And then, of course, here it is being built. Um, it's amazing how quickly everything goes together. It's just kind of click, click, click. It's like a little building set, you know, and it all just goes up and, and there it is. I thought I'd be having to wait months and months before I had something, but it was there the next time I moved my horses to Florida. And, and Bruce, you hear that? Uh, I know you mentioned that to me earlier today as well from, from customers that they just are amazed and so pleased mm -hmm. at how easy the barn goes up. Uh, number one and that let's talk a little bit about the manufacturing process okay. walk us through a little bit We're going to see some video of, of your uh, uh, Manufacturing uh, facility and kind right. of they give our viewers an idea kind of what goes on here, right? We go. Well, the the uh, the barns are manufactured in a plant So we have a lot of consistency there the quality is always kind of the same they're built uh, You know the parts are all built one after another what we have is we have we have steel reinforced panels inside a steel a galvanized steel frame they're in 12-foot sections. They're manufactured in the plant. They're loaded on a truck, hauled to the customer's site, a complete package. So you get everything necessary to build the barn, all the walls, all the, all the uh, uh, screws and, and uh, the roofing, everything that you need to build the barn shows up. The crew shows up on a typical four- or six-stall barn. A couple days later, your barn's done, and you're using it. Um, this is some of the equipment we have. We roll our own roofing. Uh, it's sophisticated equipment. Um, we use the finest materials best processes. So you can count on quality, uh, dependability, because it's a very organized system. Uh, so that, that's what we offer. You know, the thing, can I add something there? Please. The, to me, the important thing to the consumer, to somebody, the yeah. person who wants to buy a barn, by having it where it's coming from, a, certainty is what's important to us. Yeah. And speed, quality, and price. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's what, by doing it the way you guys do it, you, you're very efficient. Yes. You you order your materials in mass. You're doing all the things. You've got you know quality control. You, so you've got everything in place. So you can you can offer those three things: speed, quality, and price. And that's hard to beat. So yeah. to me, that's that's the importance of, of the fact that your manufacturing is 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 so good. Yeah, and I, you know we, we can offer a barn that's safer and easier to maintain. They're beautiful, uh, but at a very competitive price because of the way we manufacture them and and. Uh, and the way they go up so fast, the, the labor is much lower. Mm -hmm. So it, it is, it's a great product. And you ship them all over the world, right? We do, all over, literally all over the world. The Middle East, Australia, Europe, uh, Mexico, South America. Yeah. So there isn't anywhere in the U.S. Uh, viewers that uh, <laughs> That's right. isn't available to MD Barnmaster. And uh, you, again, could have the next dream barn uh, at your location. Let me give you our telephone number for you to join us live, by the way. Telephone lines are open if you're just joining us. Linda and Pat Pirelli joining us here on RFD TV Live. And Bruce Thomas, uh, CEO of MD Barnmaster, 877-731-6733. Lines open now. And something else... Uh, Linda, your, uh, some of the features, maybe uh, for people that are just joining us, uh, your, your barn was uh, put up in Florida. Uh, and maybe talk about some of the things that are special to you. You've kind of mentioned them a little bit, uh, the, the openness and, and the, the, uh, the windows and mm -hmm. how friendly it is. But uh, in your own words, some of the things that make yours yours in Florida. Um, I needed something where I had 10 stalls. Now, even though I've only got seven horses only, <laughs> I didn't used to have seven horses, I used to have three, um, but I have seven horses and some young horses. But I also have friends and guests that come, so I needed a couple of extra stalls. And I love that low front mm -hmm. because I want my horses to be able to hang their necks over. I think that was a thing from my childhood as well, that you know, you'd always see this little girl in front of a stall door and a horse was hanging his neck over and she was cuddling its head. I wanted that. And um, this is before my studio was actually outfitted, and we've got some photos of it um, when it's finished. But I have um, a full kitchen in there, and I have a, a television and a study room. And this is even before the doors were painted. Um, but with, I just find everything is so inclusive there. So when I'm teaching, because I always have a couple of students that are there, when I'm teaching, I can sit there, and we can watch people in the round corral, and then we can go in, and we can cool off in the air-conditioned studio there and we can watch a video. My students can watch the videos there. We can have some lunch. It's just, it's my dream. It sounds like I'm just, you know, this is a line. It's like, keep saying it, Linda. But it's true. This is really a, a, a barn that I've dreamed about. And and uh, here's the studio that uh, we have some yep. shots of the, now that it's, and then after later it was finished. Yep. Uh, something else you mentioned in Florida, unfortunately, you have to deal with weather, different kinds of weather strong winds, mm -hmm. hurricane mm -hmm. force winds, and your barn was built 
with that in mind, it. let's talk about that a little bit. Well, that's probably something that yeah. Bruce yeah, can really, weigh yeah. in on. Yeah, please. Well, Mark, every, every barn that we sell is designed for the address that it's going to be located at. So we know what the uh, requirements are for wind, and we know what the requirements are for snow. So their barns are very different in engineering. For Linda's barn, it was all about wind. I think it was 140 mile an hour wind. And for Pat's, it was all about snow. So it's, it's, they're individually engineered for the exact location that they're placed. And, and, and Pat, you mentioned the consistency is really, uh, you, you, uh, you know that you're going to get that, that quality and, and the consistency uh, from what we saw here. This is, uh, I believe, uh, is that your barn in Colorado? That's my barn just after talk about that a little bit more detail a little bit later. But you'd like, again, talk a little bit more about the speed, quality, and price and how important that was to you. Well, you know, being able to have uh, the barn and have it end up looking like it's always been there. And both both barns ended up, mm -hmm. you know, now that we've got them in and got a little bit of landscaping around and stuff like that, they just look like they fit there. And everything that uh, that we did in, in getting it to come together came together better than I expected. And I've got a lot of friends that are real handy. They're good welders and they're good builders and they can do things for their wives. I'm not handy like yeah. that. You know, if it doesn't wear hair, I got no shot with it. <laughs> and, what I found is as good as a lot of people are and, and handy stuff like that, they end up doing some things that are a little funky. You know, and a friend of mine uh, built a barn and he was real good with, with uh, horseshoes and stuff, so he welded his little horseshoe and it looked good. It wasn't a week, a horse reached over and got that horseshoe in his mouth, in his jaw, and pulled back and broke his jaw. Yeah. Mm. It's oh. things like that that, you know, that great, you know, good intention, uh, unintended consequences yeah. to, you know, and this is where. You know, it's that savvy uh, manufacturing aspect of it. You've done it now thousands and thousands yes. and thousands of times. And I know you've improved the product over the 30 years. Yes. And now, you know, and, and that was the thing that, that when it's all said and done, there's nothing in there that, now horses can get hurt in a rubber room. But it's, that said, there's really nothing there that a, a horse, a real savvy horseman would, would look at it and, and go, oh, that's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. All good ideas. Mm -hmm. so we get a lot of feedback from savvy horsemen, so, yeah. and we incorporate it. One thing about Passbar that's kind of neat is that he, he, ours is a very modern style, you know, with the, the steel lining wherever the horse is and so forth, but Pat took a barn and made it look like it's 100 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, simple, simple Match, little um, Matches all changes. the log type barns right. that are, in, or right. uh, other buildings that are on and our property. I think property. the only thing you added to that barn that wasn't from the factory was just the vertical slats. That was it? And that was it. Everything else came from the factory mm -hmm. on the truck, so. For, for uh, viewers just tuning in, uh, Bruce, you have a special. Uh, they are, uh, we're glad that they did uh, tune in because uh, for the next 24 hours, there's a special promotion going on. We want to make sure we cover that again for okay. our viewers that uh, you are bringing with you tonight. That's right. So anybody who calls your viewers the next 24 hours, we will uh, powder coat, which is a beautiful uh, colored finish on all the stall fronts and uh, tack room fronts in your barn. We will provide a spruce stall fronts that you can finish any colors you want. Uh, we will also outfit with all the accessories, water, feeder, cross ties, bridle rack, saddle rack, all free of charge. The only thing we ask is that you make your purchase by the end of June. And again, for the special offer, there is the toll-free number, an 800 number, uh, that you can dial within the next 24 hours. And again, uh, learn all about the MD Barnmaster Barns. I'll be in a few, uh, you said if, if the phone rings and it's after hours, yeah. you, somebody will eventually get that call the next yeah, day. Yeah, leave a message and we'll call you back the next day. We'll take care of you. Yeah, they will take care of you. Yep. Um, the, uh, let me get the phone number again for viewers that uh, may be just joining us. This is RFD TV Live, and we uh, look forward to hearing from you. 877-731-6733 is our telephone number, toll free here to join us to talk to Pat, Linda Pirelli, or to uh, Bruce Thomas from MD Barnmasters. Over to you again, Pat, and your barn. We saw some shots of that. We talked a lot about Linda's uh, in Florida, yours in Colorado, built for your address in the high country. Yeah, we're at 8,000 feet uh, elevation. We get, uh, I'd say, an average snowfall of about uh, four feet there. I've seen it much higher than that. And of course, the pitch of the roof, the, uh, the where the trusses were put in, everything about it was designed for that snow for the snow load. Um, you know, and I wanted a barn that looked uh, looked 
looked uh, wooden. You know, it didn't it didn't look like it was made out of metal. Mm -hmm. Even though it is made out of metal, I wanted one that, that didn't look like that. So you can see on the inside and the outside, there's lots of wood. And uh, the slats that we put on there were just uh, just exactly that. We just went and uh, got some slats and, and uh, put them on there. And uh, now it's all stained and the whole thing is really got an old-fashioned feel to it. Yeah. You know? And it's beautiful. Especially book. in the mountains. That, and you, is this the, 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 the picture right there, if you can hold on to that, is that the picture you had in your mind when you were that's 10, the, 12 years old? That's <laughs> that's huh? the picture. Yeah. That's the picture right there. You know, and walking in there, you feel, the, when you look up, you, 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 you don't feel like you're, you know, got a, you're under some something. You feel like you're in this spacious thing. Uh -huh. the, the, you can open up the, the, all the, the windows up on the top or on the sides. You can have all the air you want, or you can button the thing up. Well, you can see how open the interior design is. It doesn't have those low trusses like a lot of buildings do. Mm -hmm. Right. And I lo love the way the stall doors open. And that right there is a re that, that wall turns around, and the saddle racks are in the inside of the tack room. Or if you just swing that door around, now they're uh, outside. Outside the pivot, now they're, the center then. Okay. Yeah. Pivot around That's the brilliant. outside. And, uh, you know, being able to have, have everything modern and convenient, but at the same time look, look old-fashioned, you yep. know. And that that's, looks natural to me, Boy. especially in the mountains. I want to come see it. I'd love to have you. <laughs> come we'll on, come Mark. up there. We're going to come back and talk a little bit more about that. I want to talk a little about the maintenance. Uh, I think I know the answer, but I want to, uh, you and Linda as well, talk about the, the ease of maintenance. But uh, Irene from California has given us a call, so we want to make sure we take care of our callers, and we invite you to call. Irene, thanks for calling, and uh, how can we help you tonight? I would like to know about the uh, floors of the stalls. Hello? Okay, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Right. Floors of the stalls. Whoever. Well, I, I can answer that. Oh, yeah, I think what it's we recommend, <laughs> um, What we recommend for the floors is, uh, basically, I think it's real common, is to use like a road base, compact it, and then put rubber mats over it. Um, with our particular barns, we like to build our barns on a, a curb, so the barn wall sits on top of a curb, and then below that curb would be the, the compressed rock and the rubber mats. That's, we believe that's the best way to do. Then add chips over the top of the rubber mats. Let's talk to a couple of owners about the flooring. Yeah, that's what I have. Yes. It's great. And then I, I put shavings on top. Yeah, I did a something similar. I put a saw, the, the same floor. He talked about the base, and then I put uh, what they call soft soft stall. Oh, that's a nice system. Yeah, too. <laughs> it's it's a it's 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 basically a, a rubber mat. Yeah, one piece. One piece. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, I, and I really like that. That's a nice But system. better than that, my horses really like it. Yep. So, <laughs> Irene, thanks for the calling. And, and uh, she brings up a point, I think, Bruce, to, uh, to, to underline the fact that you have a catalogs that will have all these pieces in it that Irene and all of our viewers can look through and, right. and again, kind of design as Linda and Pat have done right. uh, through your catalog, making it very yeah. easy. Mine's right. number 52, if I remember right. Yeah, I, I don't have that good of a memory. But <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, I was in looking there. it's the definitely catalog in there. Yeah. I think mine's 74. Is Something it? like yeah. that. Something like yeah. that. <laughs> no, we do. We have uh, about 100 different barn designs in a catalog format, so people can start with that. And for most people, their barn's in there. Um, but again, if, if, if it isn't, we'll custom design. But it, that's a, a really convenient way mm -hmm. to start looking at barns. And uh, these are barns that have been popular for all these years for a reason. Mm -hmm. So they're well-conceived, well-thought-out, and, uh, and it's an easy process. Yeah. Uh all right, we have, uh, there's some uh, other barns from, uh, that, that are MD Barn Master Barns, uh, Bruce, and uh, again, lots of, uh, lots of horse barns. Other animals, though, that have uh, your That's customers right. have used. That's right, we're, getting, we're designing a barn right now for the Fresno Zoo to hold hippopotamus and rhinoceros and large animals. That'll be, an all, that'll be a ready-made test for that kickback. <laughs> <laughs> or a kick or headbutt or whatever they yeah. do. How about that? As we look at those pictures, we're going to go back to our callers. Uh, Dean from Tennessee, thank you for calling. You're up next. Welcome to RFD TV Live with our friends from MD Barnmaster. Thank you. I, I've got a question, that, and I think maybe I was caring a little bit about it. Uh, the manure and urine in the stall that collects on the walls, is there a way to keep that from eating through that metal? There is. Um any you know corrosive material on any barn material. So if it's wood, it rots. If you don't take care of your, there's three things that can contribute to problems with the barn wall: uh, construction, maintenance, 
and then and the quality of the materials. On our barns, we use a hot dip galvanized post production hot dip galvanized uh, bottom channel, which is the most rust resistant product there is. Uh, we seal the plywood that's on the inside of that reinforced wall so you, you get less water wicking. But we also, by building that wall on top of that curb, that's the installation part of it. That keeps it up out of the moisture. And then it's kind of up to the, to the barn owner, finally, to rake the chips away once a week or whenever you clean the stall so you don't get those wet chips laying against whether you have a wood barn or a metal barn or whatever you have. Um, that's, that's the best way to handle it. Anything to add, uh, Linda or Pat, regarding the care of the stalls? It's easy uh, to clean. It's, it's easy they, to clean. Well, they are easy to clean because you can pressure wash these. Mm -hmm. This baked enamel finishes, you can pressure wash them. And, uh, it, it, even for, like, for health reasons, you can, you can sanitize them if you bring your horse from a show that had some kind of an mm -hmm. infection. Can't do that with wood, porous structures. So that there's all kinds of advantages to the way these walls are built. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, very good. Again, if you're just joining us, we're visiting with MD Barnmaster, uh, Bruce Thomas, CEO, is with us, and uh, Pat and Linda Pirelli. The Pirellis you see every Wednesday on RFD-TV joining us, owners of uh, a barn in Florida and one in Colorado, designed for their address. I think that's well put. And uh, maybe your dream barn is not too far away. Let's go to, uh, by the way, our toll-free number to, for you to join us. That was what I was getting to, 877 731 6733 lines. I'm not sure we have lines open, but that's the number. If you hear someone there's hang up, then uh, please give us a call. We'd love to hear from you tonight, as we are from Annie, who is calling us from North Carolina. Annie, welcome. Hi, how are you doing? Just fine. Thanks for the call. Uh, yes, I was wondering, what are some of the things you do, like must-haves that you would have in your barn? Um, things that you just couldn't live without. Um, like, would you design your sour racks a certain way or, you know, where to tie your horses or your wash rack area? Um, just the things that, because I'm in the process of designing my barn and didn't have to have any tips for me. Well, I think, I think one of the things is, is having a way that when you do uh, clean things up that you've got a, a good um, way for the water to get out of there. What I've done in the center of my aisle is I put in a... a, a a, a, a trench basically that heads all the water out all the all the floors are sloped slightly in there uh, made sure this that the cement wasn't slick you know and this is where a lot of times a contractor come in trying to do a good job for you but they're gonna make things slick and you know because it looks good but that's not good that's not good for horses um, I want to have a wash rack in, an, in a spot where it's handy and I think one of the biggest things for me was that that um, that's what, what do you call the wall, the turnaround wall? The lazy Susan wall. The lazy Susan <laughs> wall for, my, for our tech. Yeah, right there. You can see that that, that thing it rotates revolves, yeah. all the way around. It's kind of like the old uh, Abbott Costello uh, movies where they push on the wall and they fall into the other room. And this, you know, that part there usually is in, this, is in the tack room. This is into the aisleway. So that tack room with that wall is just as handy as a, a pocket it, on a shirt. Does it make any difference? I see a lot of rounded edges. Uh, a uh, pat, uh, uh, and not just on this, but some other areas that keep again that high safety factor. Absolutely, you got you just got to have make sure it's something that horses can't get hooked on. You know, if they've got a halter on or something like that. And you can see here where the horses they got a little V in the in the uh, <laughs> the way that the, uh, the door. doors the there. Door. Uh -huh. And you notice how my pipes go uh, horizontal instead of up and down like jail sails. I think that, number one, it looks more attractive. Number two, you can see that the horses, if they're in that stall, they can look down through all the stalls and see all the other horses. And they can stick their head out the back, they can stick their head out the front. And, uh, you know, to me, the horses just feel very comfortable in there, and I, it feels good to me when I'm in there. Now, uh, if we can go back to that picture, uh Terrence and I want to show that the up in the corner the lighting we haven't we hadn't talked about that uh, and, and but is how uh, just look at, I just I noticed it my eye caught that uh, Pat and Linda feels very light in there doesn't it well yeah. the, well the reason this this barn design it's got a lot of light in it is because it's very high it's it's two it's like two and a half stories high basically when you walk down the center so the a lot of natural light's going to come in there from the top a lot of natural air is going to come in there from top. So you can see how that, 
all that up there, that those two doors up top there, that's a little hayloft. And I only put the hayloft in about uh, 15 or 16 feet in so that it keeps that openness when you're in the inside there. So Okay. That's called a raised center aisle barn. So you see where the roof structure in the center is higher than the other? Mm -hmm. And then you can put the windows. You can put, put the windows, windows in there, yeah. All windows if you want and let a lot of light in. Linda, what about uh, um, Annie's call, just to complete uh, her question about, and, and may, it maybe is your barn any different as far as the, the wash area or thing, how you've done things different than where Pat is in Colorado? I wanted to make sure that my wash rack was pretty roomy so that horses don't feel claustrophobic in there and you can, I could even have two horses in there and wash them if I mm -hmm. wanted to. Um, so having it roomy was one thing and there's also a window in the wash rack. So a lot of my horses are looking out the window while they're <laughs> being washed. This is like a hotel for yeah. horses. Um, and then I've got two tack rooms and they both have revolving doors. Um, oh, there's the wash rack, wash rack now. So you can see my horse looking out the window. <laughs> Um, I have two tack rooms, and both of them have the revolving, revolving doors. One, one of them is my personal tack room, and the other one is for my students and guests. Mm -hmm. And then I have a bathroom. I have a little apartment where um, somebody can stay the night. And then I have my studio that's got the, uh, the kitchen in it and a couch and uh, television with... You know where you can watch study tapes and things, and of course the RFD TV. Hot, <laughs> yeah. RFD TV is on there. Um, and then I've got a big feed room, and so that's all across the back area of the courtyard style barn. That's that's all along the back there, and then it's just horse stalls this way, and the round corral inside, and and nice big aisles actually, so that when you have horses, um, you can walk them down the aisles under cover if it's raining, and not even have to go near any other horses that are looking out over the stall door. Um, you can see it there, it's very roomy. And I even have it where I've got tie rings up on the posts under that roof. Mm -hmm. So I could tie horses there as well as have horses in the stall. So I just thought of a lot of practical things like that. Um, and there's something you probably notice, like those, those doors on the front are just beautiful with the wood and the powder coating. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to hang blanket racks there because I thought that's going to look horrible. So I actually put my blanket racks inside the stall. Mm -hmm. And the only time that doesn't work is if I've got a colt in there, but I just take the blanket out. Mm -hmm. But that way it keeps everything looking really nice and neat mm -hmm. and practical. On the front of the mm -hmm. stalls, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to take one more call and then have to uh, take our last break, but we're going to get Randy in here from Oregon. And Randy, welcome, and thanks for your call tonight. Thank you. Um, I had a question. Now, if you were a uh, barn master barn, um, does it have to be put up by a barn master crew, or can a local contractor put, uh, put them up? Well, anybody can put them up. Um, in fact, we have a video and instruction sheets so that the actual customer can put them up. If you have, uh, you know, even if, we, let me give you an example. Our, uh, our IT manager, who's not a contractor by any means, couldn't find anybody to help him build. He has a 24 by 24 foot building, and he built it in a weekend by himself with the bucket of his tractor to lift it up into place. Wow. So they are, they are a bolt together barn, so um, anybody can put them up. The concrete work, if you haven't done concrete, you know, you have to be precise, like any building. Yeah. But they, they literally, the smaller barns are, can be do-it-yourself. But any contractor, and we'll work with a contractor, you know, if it's a bigger barn and, and, and the guy wants some help, we'll work with them to get it done. So, yeah, yeah and anybody can build them. Very good. Thanks for the call. And we, uh, with that, we're going to take our last break, come back, take more of your telephone calls. And if you're just joining us and had not heard, because you are watching tonight, MD Barnmaster has a special promotion for you in the next 24 hours. So don't go away. We're going to share that promotion with you and all the details and your telephone calls at our toll-free number. Let me give that before we go to break, 877-731-6733. Let us hear from you. Time running out. Don't miss out. Pat and Linda Pirelli, and uh, we have Bruce Thomas from MD Barnmaster ready to talk to you. Coming back in a minute on RFD TV Live right here on Rural America's Most Important Network. How do you build a better barn? MD Barnmaster has spent more than 30 years perfecting the answer. A better barn is chew-proof and kick-proof with a 0% fire spread rating. It is safe, attractive, functional, and easy to maintain. From design to installation in as little as eight weeks, discover what thousands all over the world already know. MD Barnmaster will truly build you a better barn. 
MD Barnmaster. Let us build your dream barn. Here, I, I mean, I've been in here probably 10 times a day. I go from the house to here to the office to here. I just can't believe it. I love it. So, Linda, what is your favorite part of the new barn? <laughs> everything. I love everything about it. I really do. I love it. This is my dream barn. So not only is this everything I want for my horses, it's, I mean, the quality and the safety is unbelievable. It's kick-proof, two-proof, 0% fire spread. I mean, the safety is fantastic. And it's my dream barn. You love it. I love it. <laughs> she does. I believe she does. I do. Every time someone comes over to the, to the house, that's the first thing either both she does or I do is say, you got to see the barn because it's right near the house. It's right near the house. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. And yeah, it's li it, literally 50 feet from my yeah. house. And it's, uh, she does, it's, we, we've given more tours of, of that mm. barn than I think we have anything. That's great. Pat and Linda Pirelli joining us tonight on RFD TV Live with our friends from MD Barnmaster. Uh, Bruce Thomas with us, the CEO of the company. A great year. And uh, again, we said before the break, we had a special promotion just for you, RFD TV viewers, watching this program right now. And for the next 24 hours, in fact, uh, Bruce, if they miss that, that's let's, right. let's give them one more chance at okay. that. Okay. Call within 24 hours. And if you order by the end of June, we will provide powder coated stall fronts. It's a beautiful bronze hammer tone powder coat. It's beautiful. You can see it on the screen there. We'll also provide a tongue and groove spruce stall front, much like the ones you saw on uh, Linda and Pat's barn. Here we go, like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll outfit your barn with feeder, waterer, saddle rack, bridle rack, cross tie rings, pretty much everything you need to get your barn ready to use and all at no additional charge. And there's that toll-free number, their 800 number. Viewers, write that number down, 800-500, and then spell out the word barn. It's 2276. 2276, there you go, 2276 if you... Uh have one of those phones that don't have those numbers on them. That's, right? yeah. <laughs> That's okay. So for the next 24 hours, and if they're calling and watching uh, a program that's after hours, or they call after hours, yeah. uh, just leave a message, and your people from MD Barmaster will get back to them. Right, and we'll take care of you. It it, it'll be handled. Very good. All right. All right. Uh, back to the, the barns. Uh, one thing we didn't talk about for each of you was maintenance. We kind of touched on it a little bit, but I want each one of you to talk about the ease of maintenance of the barn that you have. Um, I don't do a lot of that. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not a lot to do yeah. either because it, it's so durable. So it's just a matter of keeping it clean and taking care of it, but I'm not really the one that should be talking uh, about Maintenance in this. Colorado? So far, it's been zero. Mm. Zero? Yeah, it's been zero. And uh, again, we, ours is, mine is high traffic. And I've got horses in and out of there all the time. And it's right, we're 100% zero right now. Very good. We have a caller from Colorado. Matter of fact, Vanessa is her name. And Vanessa, we're glad you called and holding down through that break. And welcome to our program. Hi. Go ahead. Hi, welcome. Um, I don't know if you have hailstorms in P Pagosa Spring oh, yeah. like I do oh, yeah. here out in Peyton, Colorado, but what I was wondering with those metal roofs is do you have any anything you do to help reduce the noise level when you get the hailstorms? Because they scared my horses. Yes, um, there's different insulations that you can use. Uh, the most common one that we use is a kind of a plastic over a, 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 a felt type insulation that goes under the metal roof and it reduces the sound and it also, if you order uh, uh, insulated walls, it will uh, help with temperature, you know, even out the temperature. And it also prevents dripping. You'll get that a lot in cold climates when it when it freezes it outside when it starts oh. to thaw, it'll drip and that insulation will stop that. Mm. Mm. So. That's all the catalog that, that is available. Yeah, or, or your dealer will explain it to you, yeah. or if you call our 800 number, uh, we have people who will explain all, answer all your questions and explain all of that to you. They use that same, there we go, the uh, 2276. Uh, you talked about dealers. You have dealers all across the country, and so they can call that same 800 number, right. and you'll help them find a dealer. Yes, we will. It's going to be and near we'll, them. We'll, we'll put you in contact with the dealer immediately, and uh, they'll answer all your questions and help you design your barn. and. Get it, get it done. From Colorado, we go to Indiana. Roger, thank you for calling, and welcome to our program. Hi there. How go, you doing? Just fine, Roger. Welcome. Um, I, I just tuned in, and I, I wanted to say that I enjoy watching their uh, horse training shows and stuff, but I, I just farm, grain farm, 
And I would like to know if you uh, sold buildings like uh, 120 foot long, maybe by 72 wide, and I wanted to put an office on it. Yeah. Uh, would you have something like that? You know, that's not really what our, our core business. We we ba basically do um, free span buildings up to you know 48 feet. Um, our, our real our real core business is horse housing, and then buildings to go along with that. You know, those smaller free span buildings. But for large equipment sheds and places to store grain and things like that, um, probably a red steel building or or a pole barn type building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. And our, let me get one more call here before we have to start wrapping things up. Nancy from North Carolina, thank you for calling. Are you there, Nancy? Yes, go, I'm there. Go ahead, please. Uh, yes, I have a question for Bruce and uh, regarding to the materials used in the barn, uh, what the in general warranty would be, mm. oh, that's such as like the doors, the walls. Well, yeah. thank you. We, you're you're helping yeah. us out here, Nancy. We were going to talk yeah. about warranty, and we just got talking about the beauty and yeah, how we much did. we love it, love it, love it. The more exciting <laughs> stuff, but the yeah. warranty is important. Yeah. We uh, we warrant the barn everything for three years. We warrant kick through on the walls lifetime. There's a 40 year warranty on the roof. Uh, I think the, the paint on the walls is warranted for like 25 years. It's detailed out in a written warranty that we provide with, with every sale. Or we'll provide it to you if you uh, ask for it so you can review it and see if it meets your needs. Very good. And with that, we're going to uh, take some time to come down the line and, and give each of you a chance for some uh, final thoughts. We talked a lot of things tonight here, uh, Pat Pirelli, and uh, certainly thank you for coming. And it's always great to have you on RFD TV. We love the program and lots of horse owners and out there that uh, equine people that never miss your show. Your closing thoughts uh, tonight regarding horse barns and, and that safety and that happiness for horses. Well, besides saying hi to my mom and dad, <laughs> <laughs> they're watching tonight. Uh, you know, savvy means it's it, it's your you know when to be, where to be, why to be, and what to do when you get there. And to me, that's what this is. It's a savvy barn, and that that's something that uh, you just cheap is expensive, and if you have everything, you know, savvy is going to be safe. And if it is then you're gonna have something that you're gonna be, you know, 10, 20, 30 years from now, you're gonna be dang glad you did. And that's that's what it is for me. It's a savvy barn. Serious horse owners. Yeah. Linda, your closing thoughts for our viewers. Well, I think I've said a lot. Um, so probably just to wrap it up, number one was knowing that I could have what I wanted in my barn was really important. And then talking to people who were not just experts in what they do, but the MD barn master folk, folks are amazing because they're horse people. So they understand that side of it as well. You're talking to people who understand what it is you, you want and why you want it. Mm -hmm. So th I think that's really important. Thank you very much for being here. It's always good to have both of you together. And uh, I know you're to sometimes travel apart, so hopefully it's been a special night for you two <laughs> to be together and, and you know, share about your passion for the uh, MD Barn Master Barns that you each have, Colorado and in Florida. So thanks for being here. Thank you. It's our pleasure. Bruce, uh, great ambassadors for the company. They uh, are, can't yeah. do better. Thanks for bringing them. Uh, and uh, you have the final word tonight. All right. Well, first of all, I always enjoy spending time with these guys. I, you know, I, it's a I pleasure beyond the business and beyond the horses. Even it's a pleasure, and but I'm also proud to have them. Uh, you know, have our barns, love our barns. We work we work hard to build and design a barn that is meets the needs of people who are serious about their horses. N not just you know famous people or you know world champions uh, like Al Dunning who was here last year and. We just sold a barn to a fellow named Bob Avila, who's a Hall of Fame and world champion. Yes. Um, it makes us feel good to know that that kind of people appreciate the, the safety and the quality and the durability of our barns. Um, we, we have had a great year, and we look forward to an even better year next year. We really enjoy working with RFD TV, and I appreciate you having us on. And we have just about a minute for you or less to real quickly uh, RFD TV special for viewers. Maybe they're just tuning in okay. next 24 hours. What All happens? Right. If you call us in the next 24 hours, we will give you, free of charge, um, an upgrade for powder-coated stall fronts, which is a hammer-toned bronze, beautiful uh, powder-coated colored stall fronts. And we'll also give you the tongue and groove spruce inserts, so you can have a beautiful bronze on tongue and groove. We'll also outfit your barn with feeders, waterers, st saddle racks, bridle racks. 
um, cross tie rings, pretty much everything you need for your barn. Very good. And the 800 number, in fact, that's, we're going to wrap things up with that. Thank you very much. Keep that 800 number handy and the web address as well. And uh, again, let the great folks at MD Barnmaster help build your dream barn. I'm Mark Offel. Thanks for joining us and good night from Rural America's